Hi students, previous class we learn identification of textile fibers by using burning test. So today we are going to identify the textile fibers by using microscope. Microscopic test is a kind of technical test. It involves identifying the fiber with the help of a microscope with magnification of minimum 100 power. So we have to maintain 100 magnification power so that the structure of fibers we can look clearly so that the test can easily identify the difference between one fiber to another fiber. The test identifies the natural fiber easily as compared to man-made fibers. Synthetic fibers are very similar in appearance and increase in the number of varieties makes it tough to distinguish the fibers under a microscope. So the man-made fibers are very similar in appearance and there is minute variations from one fiber to another. So where we little difficult to identify the structure of the fibers in the microscope. So in this situation we can identify that fibers easily by using another technical methods like burning and solvent test. How to look textile fibers under microscope? So here let's watch a sample video of how to set up textile fiber in microscope. So first turn on the machine, fix the objective lens over the slide, then adjust the slide and here adjust the magnifying power and here there is an op to move the slide up and down. For detailed microscope setup and their parts, and function please go through the link i had put in the below description slide preparation here we take a slide and add two to three drops glycerin over the slide here we are using glycerin because it prevents the formation of bubbles which may come during the mounting of the slide then Add little bit of textile fiber now on the slide. And then put a cover glass over the fibers evenly and then put some weight or pressure on the slide and dry the slide completely and make sure your specimen sufficiently thin for good appearance and it takes one or two days for completely dry and specimen fix then mount the slide on the microscope and look their structure in microscope lens so this is a basic procedure for microscopic view of textile fibers so here let's start with raw cotton fiber so below some points express how it looks under microscope first the cross sectional view so here it looks under microscope that is usually bean shaped or kidney shaped and then longitudinal view it is single elongated cell under the microscope it resembles a collapsed or spirally twisted tube with a rough surface so it looks twisted appearance in longitudinal view that is vertical direction. The thin cell wall of the fiber as from 200 to 400 convolutions per inch means we can able to see the 200 to 400 twist appearance per inch in the thin cell of raw cotton fiber. Here see the weave of raw cotton fiber. So obviously here it looks bean shape in cross section and longitudinal view here see the convolutions that is twist appearance clearly and also it looks rough surface and then mercerized cotton cross sectional view it looks round to oval shape in cross section with less lumen and then the longitudinal view how it looks a smooth surface almost cylindrical and sometimes shows a some convolutions 
then look a figure of this mercerized cotton so here we observing the cross section is round to oval and with less lumen as compared to raw cotton fiber and here we can see the smooth surface of longitudinal view and almost it is cylindrical in shape and also it has less convolutions then whole fiber cross sectional view under the microscope wool's cross section shows three layers of the wool clearly that is epidermis cortex and medulla then longitudinal view irregular in surface and cylindrical and multicellular in structure the outer layer consists of scales pointing towards tip of the fiber so we can easily identify the wool fiber so here their microscopic view see this here we can clearly point out the three layers figure that is epidermis cortex and medulla in their cross section and the longitudinal view of wool fiber we are here clearly see the scale structure of its outer layer and also multicellular in structure next the silk fiber cross sectional view it appears somewhat elliptical and triangular in shape in cross section when we see under the microscope the longitudinal view of silk fiber irregular elliptical ribbons sometimes separate twisted longitudinal striations means we can see the line marks in vertical direction under microscope so here see the view of silk fiber here see the triangular shape clearly in cross section of the silk fiber and so in longitudinal view we can see some striations twisted appearance and irregular elliptical ribbon shape in longitudinal view clearly and it also rough surface sometimes we can see next viscose rayon fiber cross sectional view differ in cross sectional view according to the manufacturing process and it has serrated periphery means it looks it has sharp edges in cross sectional view then longitudinal view rayon fiber have glass like luster means shiny luster under the microscope and appear to have uniform diameter when viewed in longitudinally sometimes appear striation or fine lace in longitudinal view here the view of viscose rayon here we are clearly see the sharp edges in cross sectional view and in longitudinal view we are able to see the some striations or lines line markings in vertical direction then cupramonium rayon fiber cross sectional view round to smooth appearance and occasionally in oval shape longitudinal view it looks uniform surface with no markings then here see the picture of cupramonium rayon the cross sectional view appears here clearly it round to smooth appearance and the longitudinal view uniform surface with no markings there is no striations or convolutions in the longitudinal view then acrylic fiber the cross sectional view of acrylic fiber bean shaped or sometime dumbbell shaped and the longitudinal view it appears straight and smooth surface here see the picture of acrylic fiber longitudinal view here we are able to see it is uniform surface and in cross section it is 
being shaped in cross section and sometimes it in dumbbell shape we can also observe then acetate fiber the cross sectional view the shape would be clover leaf means it uh, looks like a leaf shape then the longitudinal view it looks distinct lengthwise striations 2 to 3 in number no cross markings means sometimes we can see the uh, striation means lines in longitudinal view here see the picture of the acetate fiber the longitudinal view we are able to see the striations in longitudinal we and the cross section we can see the structure is looks leaf just like leaf nylon fiber the cross sectional view the basic microscopic appearance is generally fine round smooth and translucent the and it also produced in multi lobal cross section type means it we can see the lobal shape in cross section then longitudinal view it looks regular with smooth surface in longitudinal view here see the picture of nylon fiber the cross sectional view clearly shows the multi lobal shape so we can easily identify the nylon fiber in this point and the longitudinal view shows it as regular and smooth surface clearly then the polyester fiber the cross sectional view generally it looks smooth straight and circular in cross section and the longitudinal view it looks straight and regular with smooth surface and there is no striations and convolutions here see the view of polyester fiber it looks circular in shape and smooth surface and in longitudinal view it looks regular and smooth surface and there is no convolutions or striations this topic ended now we will meet in next class with new topic. Thank you and bye students.